like that. And speaking of spring, I want to talk about sunshine melting the snow, but it also causes problems. Icicles are forming on homes. Roofers warn, do not break them off. Meteorologist Violet Skyber spoke with an expert on why. I know it may be tempting, but don't break the icicles off your house. It can actually cause damage to your roof. And we spoke to an expert roofer about this. Many roofers told us not to break the ice off your roof because of the problems it can create. The owner of the Roofing King told us why. The worst thing to do is to beat an icicle off. Because if you beat an icicle off, the top of the icicle that's holding it, if that breaks upwards, if you, you hit that and that breaks upwards, that'll pull your shingles right off, the, right off the roof. That's the worst thing to do. The only thing you can do is nothing. Roofers say it's best to leave the ice alone once it's formed. Do not hit them, do not touch them. Just be careful of them and let them melt because it'll rip your roof right apart. It'll pull the shingles right off. But good news is in sight as warmer temperatures and rain is expected this weekend, which will help melt this ice. Many houses that are in the sunlight are seeing clear roofs, but if you still have icicles on your roof, again, it's going to melt this weekend. And after it does melt, it's good to clear any debris out of your gutters to prevent ice from forming next time. It can destroy your, your home uh, if you don't take care of, you know, certain things you got to take care of on the roof. Uh, which is obviously keeping your gutters clean and, uh, you know, regular maintenance on your roof and make sure you, you know, keep on top of it. He also recommends to get heated lines through your roof to prevent ice buildup, which is something that you can install in the spring. And although a lot of this snow is expected to melt and put water on the roads, this is going to refreeze into black ice for the start of next week. Those details coming up at 6. Reporting in Utica, I'm Violet Skyber for News Channel 2. Violet, thank you.